Hi, I'm Dion from Reflation Support Services and welcome to this EFT tapping on Limerence. Limerence was first termed by the psychologist Dorothy Tanoff and can be categorized as having an intense or overwhelming emotions towards a person or an object. So as EFT tapping can ease some of the stress, we'll do an EFT tapping on Limerence. So taking full responsibility for your own well-being and Repeating after me, and let's go with that flow. Even though I have this limerence towards this person or an object, and it feels intense, and it sometimes becomes overwhelming to be limerent towards a person or an object and I deeply and completely love, honour and accept myself even though I really have some intense emotions I might get infatuated even become intoxicated by this person or this object and I deeply and completely love, honour and accept myself even though I have a lot of thoughts in my day and they definitely intrude into my day about how much I desire this person or this object and it really interrupts my day my week or even my year and I deeply and completely love, I and accept myself all of these feelings all of these emotions all of these overwhelming thoughts all of these body desires towards this person towards this object that I truly want in my life that I can't get enough of that I just want to be around that I'm infatuated by and truly intoxicated by and I want them I want them to love me I want them to accept me. I have many fantasies, many beliefs that I have played out of my mind of what that would look like if this person reciprocated, if this object reciprocated, my intense emotions towards them. And I might look to their patterns of behaviour. Look to what they do in their day. As a way to be closer. As a way to know them more. Or to be more in their life. I'm truly bound to this person. I truly want to be around this person. And I want this person to notice me. And I might get confirmation by that. And that confirmation may be direct or indirect. Gestures towards myself. Verbal cues that only I pick up on. The secret love affair that I have with another person who might not be aware and whatever these signs and signals that I look for when I'm confirmed that they are happening I get some momentary bliss from that a sense of euphoria a sense of joy 
my intoxication grows, is satisfied in this moment that I have confirmed that what I'm seeking, I got my answer. And I deeply believe in that. And I have some bias towards that. Because I can't see any other way, any other alternative, where what I sought out was confirmed. Some form of confirmation bias, where what I seek out, I'll truly find. It's out there. You just have to look for it. Bring conscious attention to. Bring all my thoughts towards. That intrude in my day. That definitely confirm. That that comment. That gesture. What they truly meant by that. That hidden meaning. And that they love me. And they want my attention. And I just have to keep on waiting. Waiting for them to notice me. All this infatuation. I'm infatuated with a person. I'm in truly in love with a person. I'm in truly in love with an object. I'm intoxicated by it. I'm intoxicated. And I become alleviated when I'm confirmed that they like me. That sweet elation. That momentary bliss. And when that's gone away, I might have some worry. I might have some doubts. And what are they up to? And I seek that out again to find out what they're up to. Just to confirm. Just to get that momentary bliss. To become intoxicated. To get that alleviation. And when I look at this, it's a bit of a cycle that I've been entrapped by. A thought cycle. A belief cycle. A cycle of wanting love. And when I look at this love, am I truly in love with the person? Or am I in love with the idea of the person? And if the other person's not reciprocated, is it a relationship or a dependency that I have with this person that I'm intoxicated by, that I just can't get enough of by, that I have withdrawals when I'm not around them, and that I crave their attention? This need where I'm not feeling complete where I'm not feeling whole without this world that I've created where they complete me and I'm not completed by myself my sense of worth is not complete if I don't have their attention and if they don't have the same amount of love That I'm truly craving for them. And I'm bound to that. And there may be times in my life. Where I didn't have this attention. Where there was people that should have loved me. That we've held that love. And we've held that attention. And I did what I could with what I had to seek out love and these fantasies that I have if I truly sought that not from another person 
but perhaps from myself. Where I truly desired that worth within myself. Where I truly desired that love for myself. And I found completion in myself. Where I become a complete person. That's in a relationship of give and take. Of love that's always there for the good times and the hard times. And I have the emotional capacity to be a fulfilled and loving person. Not a dependent person, craving that love and completion from another person. And these times in my life, I'm not wrong for feeling this way. There are definitely wrong people that will take advantage of this. So I owe it to myself to give myself the worth, the value, the love and intention that I may have not received in my early years or received at any time in my life where I'm trying to fulfill a need by self-soothing myself with these limerent thoughts With these overwhelming desires that someone will complete me. I complete me now. I give myself the love that I deserve. I am deserving of love from myself. I'm deserving to be a complete person of myself. I am deserving of my own worth and value. I am deserving to let go of what I desire the most. So that I can heal. And be complete. To free myself from these trauma bonds. That I have learned to become attached by. And form some healthy attachments with myself and others and being complete in myself in mind, body and spirit and taking a full breath in and out so yes limerence that overwhelming infatuation can get in the way of um, our lives, a completion of our lives, and a, a relationship is a forming two people coming together and and working together, rather than one person trying to seek um, that completion for another person, it can be terribly tiring and overwhelming in itself for the other person. So, making sure that we show up as people that can give as much as we can take from the other person so it's a reciprocal relationship we reciprocate together so i'm down from reflation support services thank you for taking part in this eft tapping on limerence i offer eft tapping one on one online check out eflation and i'll see you in the next video bye for now